What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to find the value of C here for a quadratic expression in order to turn this expression into a perfect square trinomial. All right, and then we're going to, the instructions here say then write the expression as the square of a binomial. All right, so first, let's just write it as a perfect square trinomial. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is just make sure this is in standard form. And standard form is this right here, x squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are just numbers. They're just coefficients, okay? So here, x squared plus 14x plus c, it's already in standard form. So in order to figure out what c is, uh, c, we're going to plug in this little formula. So c is going to be equal to b over 2 squared, all right? And where's this b coming from? Well, it's basically just this coefficient right here that's next to the single x or single variable, right? So here, this positive 14, right? Make sure you include the sign, is our b. So to solve for c over here, we're going to plug in a positive 14 for b here. So we're going to get that c is equal to 14 over 2 squared. 14 over 2 is 7. So c is equal to 7 squared, which is 49, right? So c is equal to 49. So to make this a perfect square trinomial, uh, the answer would be x squared plus 14x plus 49. Okay, but we can actually condense this a little bit, and that's why this uh, second set of instructions is here. It says then write the expression as the square of a binomial, or basically just write this as a binomial squared. Okay, and the way you do that is just take whatever number you have here in the middle. So here's a positive 14, right? And divide it by 2. So 14 divided by 2, that's equal to positive 7. Okay, so to write, rewrite this or condense this as the square of a binomial, we can write it as whatever variable we have here, x, and then add this one into your binomial. So it's positive 7, right? So we'll put plus 7, and this is squared. Okay, so here we're saying that this thing right here, the perfect square trinomial, is equal to this uh, binomial squared. Okay, and if you wanted to check your answer, all you'd have to do is multiply this out. So x plus 7 squared is the exact same thing as x plus 7 times x plus 7. So here we would just have to FOIL, right? So we'd do first is x squared, outer is uh, plus 7x, inner is plus 7x, and last is 7 times 7, which is 49, right? And then if we combine like terms right here, 7, uh, x plus 7x is 14x. So then again, we get x squared plus 14x plus 49. Okay, so hopefully that wasn't too bad. Let's just try one more example. All right, here's the next one. So we're given y squared minus 12y plus c. All right, so again, we're just trying to figure out what c is to make this a perfect square trinomial. So again, c is going to be equal to b over 2 in parentheses squared, right? And in this case, what is b? Well, b would be negative 12, right? Again, make sure you include the sign right here that's in front. So here, c is going to be equal to uh, negative 12 over 2 in parentheses squared. Negative 2 divided by 2 is equal to negative 6. So we get c is equal to negative 6 squared, and that's equal to positive 36. All right, so c over here is equal to uh, let's see, y squared minus 12y plus 36, okay? And again, if you wanted to condense this and write it as a square of a binomial, again, all you have to do is take the middle number, right? Same thing in both cases, and just divide it by 2. So negative 12 divided by 2 is equal to negative 6, right? So then we're going to put this in a set of parentheses. In this case, our variable is a y, so we're going to put a y there. And then we have a negative 6 right there, so we're going to say minus 6, and then this is squared. Okay, so then in this case, y squared minus 12y plus 36 is the exact same thing, or it's equal to y minus 6 in parentheses squared. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.